Welcome back guys. In this video we will discuss about advanced reference qualifiers. So before moving on to the actual implementation let me just explain to you what is a reference qualifier. A uh, reference qualifier is just a filter which is used to restrict the number of records or the data which is being returned to a reference field. For example if I talk about incident form we have a field assigned to which is also a reference field. So as in when a particular assignment group is changed or a new assignment group is assigned to a particular field user records is filtered on the basis of the members of that particular group which is again happening because of the reference qualifier created for the assigned to field so uh, this is just to filter out the records let me just move on to the implementation and i'll go navigate back to my form i'll click on new so if I click on the lookup icon for this user field, as of now I can see all the user records present in sys underscore user table and service now. The example which I am taking into account over here is I just want to display only those users who are having ITL role in this particular reference field. So I will be filtering out those users. Now to create a reference qualifier, I will right click on the user field configure dictionary and by default I can see this is the view which I am getting this is the reference field then reference qualify condition so I will click on advanced view so that I get more options and for this particular video I will not be explaining simple reference qualifier and dynamic reference qualifier the focus will be only on advanced reference qualifier so I will go ahead and click on advanced over here now in this reference qual field I just need to provide my reference qualifier condition since the condition which I am talking about is not directly related to user table but also has a dependency on roles table sys user has role table so we cannot directly write some query over here so that it filter out the record now what I am going to do is I will be creating a script include and from that script include my logic will flow and it will return all those users who are having ideal roles in the system. So let me create one script include. This is the script include I already created and I will be calling this function return ideal users. Now to do that let me just first show you the number of users who are ideal users present in the system i'll filter with itil role So there are over 80 users who are having ITL role. I'll copy the query from here. No. I glide to the sys user has role table. I'll write my encoded query to filter out the user records with ITL roles. Now I'm going to loop through all the records. Let me just open one of the record. So every record over here is a combination of user which is a reference field, role and few other fields. So 
I need to work with the user field because I also need to check whether the user is active or not. Or we can skip that condition for now. We can just take into account whether the user is active or not, but should have the ITL rule. We can do it either ways. So if I have to give that condition, then I can give it by simply navigating to here. And I can select active is two. I can run the condition. I click copy query. So I will update the query which I previously mentioned. Now I have the exact condition which I am looking for. Let me create a variable named user sys id to store the sys id of all those records which will be returned by this query, uh, comma separated. So I'll check first if this does not have any value by default then by selecting user sys id i can check whether this particular variable is already having some value or not if it doesn't have any value by default then i will save this value inside this user sys id equals to my has role object dot user dot sys underscore id and if this is not the first record uh, when the while loop is running then what should happen is everything should be saved in this particular variable comma separated as i already mentioned so i will again Mention that user has role dot user dot sys underscore id. Now one thing will be confusing over here that why I am storing the user sys id, uh, but I will clarify that in a minute. So let me open the user table in my next tab. And let me give a condition for let's say sys id. Since I will be filtering the records based on sys id, I will select the condition as is one of. Let me copy the sys id of this user and paste it over there. Let me copy the sys id of this user as well. I'll paste it over here. If I run this condition, so this is my filtered query, uh, which I also call as encoded query. I'll copy this query and then we can write this anywhere. Let me write it in my script include itself. So the format goes is sys id in, then it follows sys ids of those records separated by a comma. So this is the similar format I'm going to follow to return the records who are having ITL users. So basically I am trying to create an encoded query over here and I will return that query and that query will be applied to the dictionary at dictionary level as a reference qualifier and will return only those users who are having ITL role. So now I will return my query in the way I've already explained it to you. Okay. I think something wrong with it. Yes. 
so let me just save my code now for my code to work i will have to call my script include and my reference qualifier i will initialize my script include by using new keyword whenever we create an object in javascript new keyword is used so here i'm creating an object of my practice util script include dot i will call my function which is certain itil uses now let me try to save this okay this is something different happened over this form i selected the condition as advanced but this is reverted back to simple why this has happened so the reason for that is whenever we are using advanced rep, uh, reference qualifiers we need to use a prefix javascript before the query condition i am about to write otherwise it will not work so let me try to save it now and it will be saved successfully so you can see that now it has not reverted back to simple reference qualifier now i will go back to my form i'll click on new again and I'll click on this lookup icon. So as of now, I can see only one record which is available over here. So let us try to figure out why only one record is being retained. Let me go back to the code I wrote. So there is something bad happened in this code which is returning only the first user in the list because if I go to this list, James Anderson is the first one in the list. So what's wrong? My while starts here, then it ends here. So return statement should not be inside while otherwise it will only return the first record. So I'll cut this and I will paste it after my loop has ended. Now let me save my code again I will navigate back to my form I'll click on the lookup list again so I can see there are a total of 70 users over here who are ideal users and all are being returned over here we can match this count with the count available in the user table as well so let me go to my roles table I will do a group by user so there are 70 unique users who are having ITL roles and the same is being written in my form as well total 70 ITL users using reference qualifier so this is how we implement an advanced reference qualifier Thank you for watching my video and let me know if you guys have any pain point or anything I can help you with and I can create my next video on the topic mentioned by you. Thank you so much for watching.